Okay, so this next uh, project that I wanna talk about, this is really cool. I came across this while I was doing some research online uh, for another project. And when I saw this, I was like, holy cow, this is so cool. I gotta talk to uh, my followers about this. It was essentially this rig that was uh, built by the company ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, for the film industry, uh, specifically for the film Jurassic Park. This rig that they built, uh, it was called the DID, or Dinosaur Input Device. And so, you know, essentially what this was used for, it was when Jurassic Park came out, that was the period where they were transitioning from doing stop motion animation effects uh, into using CGI, using the different computer systems that they had and all the different software uh, like uh, Softimage and Maya, that type of thing. And so essentially you had all of these, uh, you know, dinosaur animators that were all trained in the traditional stop motion way of doing things. And, and all of a sudden you had to do everything with a computer and a mouse uh, with the CGI computer systems. And so this device that they built, it allowed the stop motion animators to animate this little puppet. Now the puppet was rigged with a whole bunch of these little sensors. There are actually these little digital uh, rotary encoders. And so essentially what that is, is you have a mechanical rotating motion, clockwise or counterclockwise, and then you have these little IO ports uh, on the little sensor. And then that can be received by a control board. Uh, it was like a microcontroller or a CPLD device, which then reads the digital signals that are coming from that. And you essentially have uh, a digital address in representation of uh, an angle of rotation. And so essentially this whole rig, every joint on this little dinosaur puppet had one of these sensors hooked up to it. And so whenever they would maneuver the puppet, it was digitally tracked by the CGI software. And so you had this, this rig allowed the stop motion animators to animate a CGI character that was in the computer. Really, really cool. And when I saw this, I was like, oh man, this is so cool. This is like such a cool interfacing project. And that's everything that I'm about, right? And I thought, wow, this would be a really cool project for me to, you know, use a bunch of these sensors. I've got about probably, you know, a dozen of these at least uh, that I used in different projects. And I thought it would be so cool to sort of replicate this kind of DID rig, you know, potentially demo that here on my channel. Again, so that's the DID or dinosaur input device. Pretty cool.